Good afternoon, I'm Patricia Rue, and I am the Montreal University archivist, and I manage the art collection. And for the second art walk, we picked five women artists. All the artists taught at Mount Royal. This is our oldest piece, and it's by a woman, Margaret Carrick. She's interesting because she was Dean of Women, came to Mount Royal College in 1912, stayed here until 1940. So she, with every young female student that went through, was in her office at one time. This tapestry was started in 1931, the point at which Mount Royal affiliated with U of A, and that's why it says Junior College. So it was to commemorate another evolution. What our research showed is that Margaret Carrick hung the tapestry in her room, and every student that came by to see her put stitches in. So it's really a, a collaborative work. It shows our crest, which is actually now properly called a badge. It has the Latin motto, not how much but how well, which was created in 1911, the scepter, the mountains, and the colors Mount Royal Blue are there. The red and the yellow, one can assume that Margaret Carrick put in to balance it out. And if you look at University of Calgary, they've used these, but in 1931, there was no University of Calgary, so it's just coincidental. She has the lamp of learning here, and she has a Greek motif all the way around. And this 1935 tapestry hung in the United Church College until 1972, when we moved up to Lincoln Park. It was framed, and it's been restored many times, and it's been hanging in the boardroom. So this college boardroom isn't open to the public, but we did choose to have this be the cover of the new history of the college and university, uh, our 100 year celebration that's coming out by Don Baker. So you can have an excellent look at it. And uh, if you do want to come and see the boardroom, you need to make sure it's open and make an appointment. Alana Dombowska, and she was in interior design. We commissioned her work for our 90th, and we have seven of her watercolor. She's interesting, uh, born in Poland. She studied at the Warsaw Technical University, and at Mount Royal, she taught um, art, she taught drawing, she taught graphic presentation. So her watercolors show various parts of Mount Royal, captured the late 90s, early 2000. She also did the pond, the Westgate entrance. Um, another one we have that's quite special are houses in Victoria Park. And she loved history, she loved the past. One of the things she said was that houses, especially older houses, are endangered species. And uh, so she's really captured a moment in Mount Rose history. This work by Judy Trafford is our most recent, created in 2010. It's located in the Academic Advising Services, room C109, and it's called Avocets at Tea. It's water-soluble oil on canvas, and Judy works in the library. She has been part with Joan Taylor of the Library Art Gallery, and Judy usually works in watercolor, but she's been moving in to do uh, water-soluble oil. This has got a lovely history to it. She, she's been doing a series called Bizarre Birds Bizarre series. And these are avosats here. This is her mother-in-law's china. And she placed the birds in a whimsical way, uh, sort of as if they'd be at the shoreline, but instead they're drinking tea from her mother-in-law's china. And she thinks her mother-in-law would have liked that. Judy has had her work featured at the recent exhibition in the Bisset of Canadian Portrait Artists. She illustrates her husband's books with watercolors. She's done many portraits and she's been a practicing artist uh, most of the time that she's been at Mount Royal in the library. This large piece that most people have had a chance to look at when they get their coffee is right beside Starbucks. It was done in 1992, and it's the work of a woman artist, Anna Loseva. Anna Loseva was born in Russia and did most of her 
art training in Russia. She's from a family of architects. Um, her, her expertise is in architectural rendering. Her connection to Alberta is that she came, immigrated, did a Master in Fine Arts at U of C, and she taught at Red Deer College, so she's also an educator. The piece is called Pedestroika, and her technique demonstrates the theme of her work, which is that it's burlap on canvas. She has used twine, uh, it's very rough, it, the kind of clothing would be the sort that people are doing in construction projects, and it's meant to symbolize all the reconstruction that was going on in the Soviet Union. What's interesting is after she left Calgary, she and her husband went to Philadelphia, they set up an art design firm, and they've won awards every single year for their architectural renderings in watercolor. They are represented in many books. Uh, the artists we're looking at, she it has probably achieved uh, the most important international reputation. This work directly behind me is the work of Kelly Kruger. It's a 2002 piece called Poet's Garden, Acrylic on Canvas. Kelly Kruger uh, started off with a Bachelor of Education, was a teacher, and after some time teaching, went to Japan and studied calligraphy. Returning from Japan, she did a master's in fine arts at UC, and then she came to Mount Royal and was in the National Education Program. This work here shows the impact of her study of calligraphy and it is the stroke and how she uses it in the intimacy and how she combines um, the, uh, really her cleverness with calligraphy. Um, she's been represented in over 40 different exhibitions. She's shown internationally, and we have two of her pieces at Mount Royal, um, and she's, she's been a practicing artist now for 